And do you have an experience at a shelter that you'd like to share? Yeah, yeah. Well, I ain't homeless. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. She's wiped out. Came out of jail. Yeah, yeah, I got a lot of people. Take him to get him. They give you five free nights, and after that, you, know, you, know, you got to start paying yourself. And for a person like me, I don't have no, no income, no, no, no way of getting money. I couldn't afford it, you know? So I used my five days, then I started sleeping under a bridge. Um, they kicked me out and they have the money. And on top of that, they, they don't feed um, regular meals to the people that don't stay there. If you don't stay there, you don't get to eat. And that's that's what I don't like there. You know what I mean, if, if this changes, if we could change what they're doing by the um, interviews and, and people helping out, well, then so be it. But, um, I just want I just want that to change because that's not right. So like some people who have no income, really? have no money to um, get in there, you know, yeah. don't have a place to sleep or, you know. I mean, what you why don't why don't you have a job? What what happened? What's the story there? I mean, it's hard getting a job when you're a family, you know. You have a record. So on um, what kind what types of places have you been looking to try to find work? Um, construction. I was an apprentice in Massachusetts. Um, this whole Funding thing just messed everything up. Can't, can't find a job again. How long ago was that? About two months ago. That you were convicted. About two months ago. So, has anybody tried to reach out to you to help you with any kind of like anti-recidivism type of programs or anything? Um, when you go to Salvation Army, do they have any kind of reach out programs or um, stuff to just help you be able to stand on your own two feet? No, no. I mean, I haven't asked, but at the same time, they haven't, they haven't came to me and tried to help me either. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you.